guys. Uh, welcome to Unbiased Rugby. So we're going to be going through the Springbok team to face the All Blacks uh, for the Rugby Championship 2019. I'm just going to go through the teams, uh, just the Springboks team, because that's the team that's been announced so far. Uh, tomorrow, the next day, when the All Blacks team gets selected, then I'll, I'll go through that team and I'll, I'll give my predictions for the game. So yeah, I'm going to just go through the teams here. Uh, teams, we've got Stephen Kitsoff 1, Malcolm Marks 2, Franz Malherber, Eben Elizabeth, Franco Mostert, uh, Quacha Smith, uh, Peter Steff de Toy, Dwayne Vermeulen, that's all the forwards. Uh, the back line, we've got Faf de Klerk, Andre Pollard, Makazolo and Pimpi, uh, Damon de Allende, Lucanya Arm, Cheson Colby, and Billy LaRue. That's the starting 15. Uh, we we'll go for the bench, we've got Bongi and Benambi, Tendo Matai Herrera, uh, Trevor Nyankani, Achia Sneiman, uh, Francois Lowe, Herschel Yankees, Franz Stein and Jesse Krill. So we've got a basically got a starting caps of 457. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say overall I'm I'm very very happy with the the team selection. It's been really nice that uh, uh, Quaker Smith is it's his second game as the uh, in the Springboks, but at least he's been introduced surrounded by really a lot of experience. Uh, Coming off uh, the bench, Hershey Yankees, I think he's there because uh, he had a really good game last week and I think Rossi would like to see how he plays against uh, uh, the, the All Blacks. I think it's a lot of pressure. He'll probably come on in the last 10, 20 minutes and give himself a, a bit of a run. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the, uh, the the forwards and the backs. So here we go, the forwards. Uh, 289 caps with, for the forwards. Uh, I'm very happy with that tight five. I think it's probably the best tight five that we could put forward. Uh, Stephen Kitsoff has had a really good Super Rugby season. Uh, Malcolm Marks is just world class. Franz Malherbe is exact, uh, exactly the same. I think he's I think he's really maturing into that tight head role excellently. Uh, even Esbeth had an excellent game last week as captain, and he was really good as an enforcer. The one, the one surprise for me, because maybe I would have put Archie Sneijman in there, is Franco Mostert, but Franco Mostert's got an exceptional engine on him. If you've seen him play in the, the Premiership, the guy is just an absolute machine. Uh, and especially with that back three, uh, I think there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of lot of players here with big engines. Uh, Franco Mostert, Peter Steff de Toy, probably the two biggest engines in, in world rugby. Uh, coming to the back three, it's great to see Quaker Smith there. Uh, I th I think the reason why Cocker Smith there, I think he plays a lot similar to uh, excuse me, he plays a lot similar to Sia Khaleesi. Uh, I think Sia Khaleesi is going to be really missed in this game. You, you bring something completely different to to the game. But Cocker Smith had an exception. The guy is such a great rugby player, playing for sevens. Uh, the guy had two three years of exceptional Super Rugby, and now he's just being rewarded as as. Uh, starting lineup for the Springboks. Dwayne Vermeulen is going to be captain the side. Uh, I, I think that's the right choice. I, re I really like Dwayne Vermeulen. It gives the other players around him a, a bit of an opportunity to relax in their position. Even can be the enforcer that he's there to be to take on Brody Retallick. Uh and he's he, he's the right person to be leading it uh, for this game. I think. Uh, but for the World Cup, it has to be Sia Khaleesi. Uh, I think Dwayne will be his vice captain, but it has to be Sia Khaleesi for that. Most outstanding player here is probably Peter Steff de Toy for me. I uh, did see him last week when he did that chip and chase. Uh, just absolutely phenomenal player. But yeah, that is a seriously, seriously big pack. I think uh, I think it, it would be able to stand up against uh, the All Blacks. Next, we'll go through to the back row. We've got the back row here. We've got... Uh, there's Faf de Klerk at nine. We haven't seen him play for a while, but he had a, he had a very, very good uh, premiership. Andre Pollard is uh, he is literally becoming world class, top top point scorer in Super Rugby this year. Uh, then on on second five or uh, inside centre, we've got Damon De Allende. Uh, I've also thought he had a great uh, season at Super Rugby, and. I think with Andre Estes and not really putting his hand up last week, I think uh, Damon Delenders, I think he's the person to start uh, at, at 12. I think he's really going to come into that position. Then at 13, my absolute favourite player uh, currently playing in Super Rugby, uh, Lacanya Arm. I think he understands space so well. Uh, we were so fortunate in the 13 position that we have two really good uh, 13s. And I, 
Uh, it's great to see Lukan uh starting. I just think he's the right person to be able to distribute that ball through to our exceptional wingers. I'm so happy that Makazola and Pipi's got another try. I just think last the last game against the Australians, he just didn't have enough opportunity to to prove that he is the best finisher in South Africa by a long shot. The guy, when he gets the ball, he scores tries. Uh, and he just wasn't given the right kind of ball last week. Every time he was given the ball, there was four or five people in front of him. Not not that great. Uh, Cheslin Colby, uh, the guy is an, is an absolute genius. He literally is world class. Uh, and if you see him playing in the top 14, the guy makes tries out of nothing, absolutely nothing, and he scores tries. Uh, the rounding out our back, uh, back three is Billy LaRue. Uh, I don't think he had such a great season uh, in the Premiership, but I, I think because he had been not dropped by Wasp, but Wasp weren't extending his contract, I think he had a, had a few little issues. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that he can step up He's one of those players that he can either have an exceptionally good game or can really, really, really uh, come off the pace and really do some stupid things. So uh, the last time last year, uh, he, he scored that incredible try against the All Blacks. So yeah, let's let's just see uh, how that pans out. Now we get to the bench. Uh, that is a seriously, seriously good bench. You know, it's a five-three split between uh, forwards and backs. But look at that. You know, you bring in Trevor Nukani and the Beast as, as your replacement props uh, to finish off the game. Bongi and Benambi to uh, as your thrower. That is a, that's a world-class uh, replacement for a front row. I, 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 I'm trying to think of anyone that can bring on two props of that caliber as their, their second props, uh, especially with the Beast. You know, the guy's got a world of experience. Uh, Achis Neyman, I think, is going to be cover for, for lock if something goes wrong. But I'm I'm looking at the the six players that will probably be sent on. It's obviously probably the the, the one, two, and three. And then I've got a feeling that Tosho Yankees and Jesse Krill and uh, Frontstein will be brought onto the field, like, unless there's an injury in, in one of the other positions. So uh, I, I see Frontstein coming in, probably taking uh, the 12th position, or maybe taking 10 for like real impact and moving uh, uh, Pollard out to maybe 12 or maybe 15. And Jesse Krill, there, he can fit in. The nice thing about Jesse Krill, he can fit in and center, and, but his natural uh, natural position when he went to school was wing. So, yeah, I think the 350 caps off the bench, and normally you, know, you always deduct the beast off because that's 108 caps, but that still leaves 250. 42 caps available coming off the bench. That is, a, that is a really, really good bench. Last week I was happy with the bench. This week I'm extremely happy with the bench. But yeah, guys, that's that's the team. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy with this team. Uh, you know, if this is the, the, the kind of squad that we can put together, I think we're in we're in for a seriously cracker game this weekend. Uh, Problem, Sia Khaleesi, yes, I think he would have rounded out this, this loose trio a hell of a lot better. Uh, going to the back row, uh, I'm hoping Vili can get back to his previous form uh, because that is a little bit of a concern. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, he can step up for it. But listen, guys, that's that's the team. Here we go. That's the team. My last slide I'll put back to the team. That's the team that's kind of facing All Blacks this weekend. I think it's <clears throat> I think it's a, a really good South African side. We haven't been able to put a South African side this good in, in a hell of a long time. There's there's experience across the park. There's new blood coming in. There's new players. There's new ideas. So yeah, I'm 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 expecting a cracker game this weekend. But like I said, later on in the week I'll do the New Zealand video. And I'll do the predictions for uh, for this weekend's game. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful week. And he has looking forward to a cracker test on Saturday morning. Chat to you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.